is up guys, Stop Master Craig here, coming back at you with another YouTube video. In today's video, I want to talk about Memorial Day, what it means to me, and what I will be doing for Memorial Day, and hopefully, what I'm doing, you might be joining me with. But uh, first off, I want to start off with saying the difference between Veterans Day and Memorial Day. Uh, Veterans Day is for thanking veterans, and for thanking active duty members for their time in service, and for sacrificing their time for us. As with Memorial Day is for those who have paid the ultimate sacrifice, those who have gone out, fought for us, fought for our lives, fought for our freedom, and in turn, they lost their lives. So that is what Memorial Day is for. It's for us giving thanks for those who have made the ultimate sacrifice. So this Memorial Day, I'm going to be participating in the Murph Challenge. Now, I'm going to go over what it means, what the Murph Challenge is, what exactly I'm going to be doing, like what it entails. So uh, without further ado, let's just jump right into it, uh, the Murph Challenge. Um, let's start off with what it is. It is a foundation, it's an organization, and it, they, they're trying to do it every single Memorial Day. Uh, it just started last year, so this is going to be its second year in going. And basically what you do is you're going to go to their website, which I will leave all the links in the description below, and it's like themurfchallenge.com. And you just register there, and it's going to be $48. Now, the $48 entails they send you a t-shirt, possibly a poster, and then you're also signing up to uh, participate in the activity. And you also get to go back to the website and post all your uh, stats, how uh, your run time, your push-ups, your sit-ups, all this, and you get to compete against everybody else who registered. Now, you might be saying, $48, where is all this money going? The Murph Foundation is for scholarships. So last year, they used all the money and they put it towards scholarships for students. Now, these were like full scholarships. Uh, depending on the college of choice and all the programs the student wanted to go to, these people pretty, ma pretty much had a full ride with this uh, the Michael Murphy um, Scholarship Foundation. So by participating in this, you're going to be helping out uh, one of Michael Murphy's favorite things, which was education. He believed in education so much. And uh, you heard me say Michael Murphy twice now. Who is Michael Murphy? How does he fit into this organization? Well, let's talk about that. Michael Murphy is a lieutenant in the U.S. Navy, and he was also a Navy SEAL. Um, he basically made the ultimate sacrifice over in Afghanistan during Operation Red Wings. Uh, for those of you who don't know Operation Red Wings, uh, you can go and look at the, the movie Lone Survivor or even read the book. I highly recommend both of them. The book and the movie are both amazing. I highly recommend looking at them, checking them out on YouTube or ordering the book. But um, Operation Red Wings was basically a four-team, a four-man Navy SEAL team. They were dropped into the mountains of Afghanistan, and they were just like a reconnaissance team. They were trying to find out if this high-ranking Taliban commander was in this village. Uh, he turned out to be in the village, and their mission turned out to be compromised, where the Taliban found them, like they spotted them in the mountains, it, what happened was some sheep herders came up the mountain and uh, they, you know, they had to detain them. And it was like, do we kill them? Do we set them free? Do we just leave them tied up here? And they wound up making the human decision and they let them go, which uh, that's a big controversy. Should they have let them go? Uh, the, that's the whole reason why they got compromised. They let them go and they ran down the hill and they told the Taliban where they were. So uh, you can think about that. What would you do? Leave it in the comment section below. But uh, it turns out these hundred Taliban come chasing them, and they're trying to run up this hill, and they don't have any comms back to base because they're in the middle of the mountains and there's no satellite connection. Now they get to this one point where there's a big opening on top of these rocks, and Michael Murphy, being the team commander, he knew what he had to do. He had to make a sacrifice for his team, for his teammates to save him. So he crawled up these rocks into the open, totally making himself open to fire, made the satellite phone call, got in contact with the base, and at, at the end he said thank you. And then he continued to fall under heavy fire, and uh, he wound up making the ultimate sacrifice. He died that day, but uh, he did make that phone call to try to save his men. And his legacy lives on. He, he is a Medal of Honor, a Medal of Honor recipient, and uh, 
from there, his family and friends went on to make all these foundations. There's not just the, the Murph Challenge Foundation. There's the Michael Murphy Foundation, which they donate a lot of money towards the Wounded Warrior Project and things of that nature. So if you guys want to check that out, I'm going to leave everything in the description below. I'm going to leave uh, links to his biography where his parents, his family, friends, they all talk about him growing up and the life decisions he made and how good of a person he was. But uh, enough of me blabbering on about this. You know about the challenge. You know what the foundation is. You know who Michael Murphy is now. Now let's talk about the exact challenge. What we're going to be doing. What kind of um, uh, workouts are we going to be doing. So let me get my phone real quick. And I'll bring up right here what exactly we're going to be doing. Got the photo here. Boom. Boom. Alright, so the Murph challenge. It consists of one mile run, 100 pull-ups. 200 push-ups, 300 squats, and another one-mile run. <clears throat> and you're supposed to do this all in a 20-pound weighted vest or body armor. Now, me being me, I don't have body armor, and I don't have a weighted vest, so I'm just going to do the best I can to go and do this without all that. So if you guys want to do the same thing as me, by all means, do this to give back. If uh, you're not able to work out or do any of these exercises, then the best you can do you know, go to your church of choice uh, and, you know, pray for the families that have lost their loved ones or go and visit a cemetery and, you know, go and leave some flowers or something like that. Do what you can to give back. These people made the ultimate sacrifice for you so that you can be out this weekend with your families barbecuing, swimming in the pools, and they can't do that anymore. So uh, this means a lot to me. Michael Murphy is a big, big inspiration to me. Uh, I love the movie. I love the book, Lone Survivor. Uh, that's kind of first where I found out about him and once I found out that he was from New York I started doing more research on him and he's just a big inspiration to me and it would make me feel good if you guys participated in this challenge and it's a challenge going on not only in the US but all around the world it's open to everybody so uh, I highly um, suggest that you guys join in but uh, enough for me blabbering on I'm gonna do the challenge tomorrow this is Sunday night right now I'm not too sure when I'm gonna post this video but uh, leave in the comment section below. Tell me if you guys did this challenge. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me out. And uh, also in the comment section below, let me know all your stats, like how many push-ups, pull-ups, and things you did. I'll go over them again. It was a one-mile run, 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 squats, and another one-mile run. So let me know your guys' times and all that, and I will let you know mine. But uh, thank you guys for watching, and until next time, this is Stealth Master Craig signing off. Peace out, guys.